Okay, hello guys. Welcome to another video of mine. I'm talking about Houston Breakout today. I know I've missed uh, quite a bit making Payday 3 content and everything, but uh, honestly, with the way things were going in the game, uh, I didn't really feel like making stuff on it. I'm definitely not a guy that likes to make a video on every tiny fucking little new piece of news we get, like uh, any type of, you know, small update here or there. I usually just like focusing on the actual game itself, the content it's actually making, and, uh, you know, fun times to be had in said games, talking about things in game, not really talking about things outside of the game. You know, but I really feel like I wanted to make a video on Houston Breakout because, well, for those that don't know, uh, I started playing Payday back in the Payday 2 when it released in August of 2013. And uh, Houston at the time was still called Hoxton. We didn't have Hoxton Breakout. And that's who I played. And even when we had Hoxton Breakout, I stayed playing as Houston. And I have been a Houston main since Payday 2's launch. And so the idea that we're getting a Houston breakout in Payday 3, I was really excited for it. Of course, you know, as you guys know, there's uh, no Houston character pack for free or paid or anything in the game right now. Uh, we're basically uh, saving him for the next DLC uh, to release alongside DLC pack 4. And honestly, like, it's kind of dumb. It feels really lame, I think, that we didn't get a you know, Houston playable character after breaking him out. But uh, it kind of makes sense, I guess, if they didn't want him to be like tied behind a paid DLC and everything. So I guess for everything else, we're getting like a free Houston character pack afterwards. It's just kind of weird because now we live in a timeline where someone who, you know, doesn't buy any of the year one DLC did not play Houston Breakout and then they're able to play as Houston. Like even in Payday 2, yes, Hawks and Breakout and Hawks and Free, but you had to at least play, you know, the heist to be able to unlock him, you know? And I really feel like this could have been a thing where it's like, oh, hey, you could have released Houston alongside the Houston Breakout and he is free, but it's a paid heist. Just be able to play it once for free to unlock him. And it's like, oh, if you liked the heist, you have him un uh, unlocked and you can like buy the DLC if, if you'd like to. If you want the guns and then replay the heist or or whatever. It might not be the smartest idea in the logistics sense since, uh, you know, they, they're they wanting you to spend money in order to play this heist. But what do I know? I just kind of wish he was here. And I hope that in the grand scheme of things, it's it's going to be a very small amount of time for this game's entire lifespan. But we'll get into that in a, in a little bit here. So I'm going to basically go over my thoughts and give the DLC pack three um, a grade because uh, I'm really attached to this one. I, I think this is the best one we've gotten so far right off the bat. But uh, there was a lot of stuff in this one. Uh, only thing that could have made it better was, you know, Houston, but we'll get him. We'll get him. So let's start with the heists. That's kind of the most important part about, uh, you know, the game's updates is new content, new areas to play, uh, new heists to complete with your friends. So Houston Breakout feels very good, in my opinion. Uh, there isn't a section in this map where I don't enjoy doing objectives, getting into firefights, things like that. Everywhere feels like it kind of has a purpose. And one thing I really, really like about this heist is the amount of RNG that can happen. It's very nice to see that uh, the way you enter in uh, multiple different doors changes on heist. Sometimes it could be you need a fingerprint. Sometimes you need a code. Sometimes you need a QR code. Sometimes it can be, you know, any one of the different types to get into and everything. And I really, really like that. Um, I do think the way we break Houston out it's kind of basic. We kind of just drill him open and then uh, drill him open. What? We kind of just drill the door open. We, we use a giant drill to get him out of this little holding area he's in. And then we just move him to the starting area and he leaves. It's not like we have to really protect him for that long or anything like that. There's never any like actual... I mean, I guess it is better than escorting a truck Oxen's hiding in the whole time, but that 
Hoptize had a lot of movement. I don't think you actually could have a Hawks that break out in Payday 3 with its current armor system. I actually think that is actually would be either impossible or the hardest heist in the game. Just because, you know, the current the current state of Payday 3 really relies on heists either being able to be completed very quickly or you have to just hunker down in one single area and then make a break for it. Uh, not really something that has like a, you could be moving from corner, from cover to cover, from area to area, and survive indefinitely type of, you know, situation. The heist in stealth feels just as good as loud, honestly. I think this is a really cool heist that allows you to play around a lot with both being completely having your mask off as well as on. I don't feel like there's really like a better way to do anything. I think either way really serves like a purpose. And it's something that I would be doing uh, more often than I would be doing anything with the vanilla heist. Like, I honest to God do not want to stealth rock the cradle anymore. Um, <laughs> but I could see myself, you know, stealthing Houston Breakout a couple times. I like the amount of bags you get. Uh, I like how you really only have to, you know, get one actual piece of evidence you need, whether it be like, you know, server or actual bagged evidence or anything. But everything else is kind of just you know, extra loot you can carry that you don't really need to, to get. It's, it's very nice. It's very funny to me how you can technically complete this heist without a single bag, and the base payout is like $80,000. It's next to nothing. It's very fucking funny to me. As for Diamond District, that's also a really good addition, I think. I love the idea of renaming this as like the side hustle heist, where it's just like something to do. I think we need more heists like these. Uh, five stores or Diamond District, however you want to call it. Uh, is a very good addition. The only complaint I really have with this heist is in Loud, which is the final charge mechanic. I don't hate final charge really as a concept. I know a lot of people do. Uh, a lot of my friends and mutuals and viewers have come to me and said that, you know, final charge is the worst thing to happen because it's just annoying. With Diamond District, if you are cleaning all these bags uh, of gems to get the most out of, you know, your payout you will be needing to uh wait to secure bags because otherwise you're going to trigger the final charge early and then <laughs> you're just going to have a horrible time you're never going to get a chance to catch your breath or anything like that and it really just makes me wish that it was more tied to how long you've been in a heist versus like tied to objectives some things should be tied to objectives but it's just like oh we secured four out of ten bags or 12 bags or something so now we have final charge it's like shouldn't it really be oh we've been in this we've been in on through like five different assault waves now the sixth one is going to be infinite or something like that i just think it should play out that way instead but other than that, that's really my only complaint. It feels very good. I like all the different stores, how the one's very big, some are very small. It feels really good. Um, stealth is good. Loud is good. All in all, free heist, very, very good. Best free heist we've gotten in the game so far, in my opinion. Okay, that is uh, pretty much everything in the update. Uh, I've actually really been enjoying playing Payday 3 again with this. And uh, I'm been actually wanting to make a video on it. So here it is. Uh, when I get more into the swing of things, hopefully, you know, we'll have some more structure to everything here. But for now, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again very much. Just as one quick little reminder for you guys as well. Uh, there's been some changes to this channel here. So this channel you're watching right now is called at given the heister. Okay, that is going to be all my payday content going forward. You don't need to go anywhere at all. My main channel, I'll be working on some other content that's non-payday related, is called Peitza, P-E-Y-T-Z-A-H, as well as my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Peitza. You can catch me playing Payday 3 there, as well as some other variety games and whatnot. I'm going to be starting Elden Ring for the very first time if you want to catch that, so feel free to stop on by, drop a follow, say hello, that good stuff. But I also have a VOD channel in case you can't make it to any of these streams. It's called Pizza Stream Archive. You'll see every stream I ever do uploaded there. But I also made a playlist just specifically for Payday live streams that is attached to this channel, given the heister. So if you scroll down a bit on my channel, you'll see that playlist. So if you just want to watch Payday, that's where you can watch it. All past live streams I did. Uh, please know, though, that I was at my girlfriend's house the day that Houston Breakout came out and I was streaming from her computer. And we didn't really get the 
uh, audio filters for her mic set up correctly, so there is some bad uh, AC noise a little bit in there, but if you really want to just like get a quick glimpse of my reactions of what everything was when it came out, it is there for you, for your entertainment. Alright, video is long enough, I'm giving Houston Breakout an A. I love this DLC, very very good, keep up the good work Starbreeze. Anyway, that's all for today guys, goodbye!